How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Sick Eric Tech, and today we're going to be going on over what launcher did I use on my Google Pixel 9 and how I set it up. So, as we all know, this is stock launcher on the Google Pixel 9. This is going to be the Pixel Launcher, and this is my setup right here. But there are some features, such as when you click on this little microphone, it brings up Google Assistant and not Google Gemini. And also, you do not get that double tap to lock your device. As you can see right there, you have to push the power button to lock your device. And you also do not get as much customization as you were to get with a custom launcher. And the launcher that I use is going to be Launch Air Launcher version 14. Now, this was recently updated to work with Android 14. And the Google Pixel comes with Android 14. So there you go. And I will post links in the description for this. They are on beta three. And you also have the lawn feed option to download that as well. And that will give you your Google feed off to the side. So this is the stock setup that I have. And this is how I changed it from this to this. And this is my current setup. And as you can see right here, very different. And I decided to go with more of a lollipop theme android lollipop just because i felt nostalgic and i wanted to go a little bit old school over here with this theme and as you can see when you click on the little microphone it will bring up gemini on here so that is also a nice feature and you also do get that double tap to sleep and you also have the opportunity to customize your device when it comes down to the icons the way your search bar at the bottom will look your gestures and things like that. And this is my setup. So first the icons that I use are going to be what they are called candy cons. And you can get these off of the Play Store. All you have to do is go to the Play Store and I will post link in the description down below. That way you guys can go check these out. So candy cons, it's going to be this version. There is a free version right here. And this is pretty much an Android lollipop icon pack which is a little bit different than lollipop but uh, a little bit more refreshing and these are the icons that i use right now for my setup as far as the wallpaper goes i just went on google and searched lollipop wallpapers stop at gemini and searched lollipop wallpapers and downloaded this one there are also wallpaper packs that you can download and it's pretty simple you just go on over to the lawn share link you're going to hit download and then you're gonna hit install. It's going to ask for permission to install from Chrome if you haven't accepted those um, or allowed that yet. And then you're gonna to want to go to Lawn Feed and hit the download button to download that. And that will give you your Google off to the side to uh, swipe on over and give you your Google feed over here. And it's pretty simple. So when I go into settings for my home screen, I'm going to click on general. And for the most part, I kept everything here the same. You're just going to go on over to icon style. And once you download the candy cons, you're going to see that you have candy cons right here. I downloaded that and then I click on icon style and it will change your icons to that squarish lollipop style. Now, some of the icons weren't changing to square. Say if you have them defaulted for the circle. What I did do was I did change them to a square. That way they all have a uniform shape to them. And that was what I did there to change the icons to square. And as far as the system theme, I went ahead and just kept that at system. And color style, you have different options for spritz, vibrant, expressive. So I just went ahead and kept it on rainbow just because it's more of a colorful style. And then going on over to home feed, and going on over to home screen, uh, you do have that double tap to sleep right here. You could either have it to do nothing, open notification, or an app drawer. Of course, double tap to sleep is the best option for that. And as far as everything else goes, don't think I messed with anything in here when it comes down to the setup. Uh, icons, I kept them at the same size, so I didn't really mess with that. And then going on over to add a glance now here, when you have at a glance and you hit the Google, it will show your Google up here and you have different options for that as well. So when you hit Google, 
it will show your ad glances up here and you could hit a style to pick whichever style you want and you could go that way and i'm just going to go ahead and keep it at that so uh, you could change that when you go to your dock like i didn't really change much over here other than apply accent color and your search provider right here which is going to be the search bar widgets now when you do click the google which is going to be default you're going to get this google search bar but when you click on that it's going to bring up the google assistant and what you want is for it to bring up the gemini assistant so when you go on to dock you're going to hit search bar and make sure it is on lawn chair and then you could also apply the color to that which is going to be your accent color which will more than likely go on over from your wallpaper and then as far as the corner radius to make my search bar down here more square to go with everything else i went ahead and changed the radius for the dock bar at about 35 percent and as far as icons go to just change that to five that way you have five icons and five rows over here so going on over to the app drawer didn't change much here when it comes down to the columns and the row height or the icon size but you can adjust your app drawer if you want to make it a little bit more tidier and as far as the folders go now as far as the background of the folders i did change them to go for the wallpaper so it's right here you could click that you could either follow the system wallpaper or managed by lawn chair i did click the wallpaper on there and when you change the icon from circle to square it will also change your folders from circle to square right there and as you can see it looks a lot better now that we have square icons square folders and the square search bar now as far as everything else goes your gestures you have all your gestures right here to swipe up for your app drawer so you can open up all your apps and scroll through them however you like and you also have swipe down you do home button which you really don't have a home button because we don't have we're using gestures here and your back button and you could also adjust all of that as well so pretty simple to set your device up launch your launcher works really well with the google pixel if you want more added customization and you want that double tap to sleep and the option to change your icons and the option to get gemini on your search bar down here rather than google assistant if you are going to transition from google assistant to gemini and plus it's fun to play around with you're able to create a nice little customization for your device and make it different than everybody else's so thank you guys for watching my setup and lawn chair with the google pixel 9 and if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you didn't give it a thumbs down and i will see you next time here on sick eric tech peace